so we ordered a kit from Amazon www.kitforcurious where the package was really good mostly electronic components comes in a loose packaging but here everything is well aligned and perfectly spaced in you can also see the level of layers used to so that the components does not get damaged where there is a acrylic board which comes with ultrasonic holder also a dynamic cutout with the nut bolts and wire management holes given in it now in the components we have a board legs four motors 18 to 2 screws nuts and bolts wheels and an ultrasonic sensor holder in it This is how the acrylic board looks. Jet glossy black finish. There are four legs and one base. Now, take your one motor in hand and two legs. Place the motor such a way that the motor is facing up. But before placing the motor and screwing in it, First, shoulder the two ends of the tips of the motor. This is how it looks. Now, place the motor between the two plates and screw it up using the screws given in the package. And then, tighten it up with the nut bolt. After inserting both the motors in the legs, take the wheels and plug it on the exterior part of the motors with the wire shoulder on the other side and the wheels on the opposite. Do the same step for the next two motors. Fix it up with the angle mount. Now do it for the second leg also. Place four mounts on it all facing one side then mount the board on the both legs now take your board and screw it up on it this is how it will look on the base model there is an cut out for the sensors motors and also the holder and then attach the holders to the ultrasonic sensors where the ultrasonic pins are facing up now, take out the ultrasonic cutout. Take your Arduino Uno, your motor driver and plug it as shown over here. After plugging it, bring out your Bluetooth model. Take four female pins or four female wires. Cut two wires into half. Where the VCC to the plus five to the board and ground to ground. Then shoulder the TX and RX pin to the D1 and D0 on the board. After that, use double side tape to hold the board on the plate. Connect the servo motors on the top side of the board as shown in the diagram. Then connect the wires of the motors to the motor driver. This is how it will look. There are four chips to be connected. Two chips for one motors and two other chips for the other ones. After connecting that, start connecting for our ultrasonic sensor. Take the eco and trigger pin, connect it to the A0 and A1 and the VCC and ground same on the board. Now take your IR sensor infrared, keep it or place it below the plate as such that the wire management should be taken up from the hole. Now connect three pins, one for your supply, one for the ground and one pin on your A5.
Now take your battery. We have used here two chips so that this battery can recharge by only plugging the USB cable in it. So we don't require to take out the LiPo batteries every single time. Now make a switching for it and start the robot. This is the app used for it. Now, when you touch the IR sensor, the LED over there starts blinking and goes off. Connect the Bluetooth system to your app. Once it's connected, then you can see our features over here. But first, go on voice control. Now click the button. Move forward. Move backward. Turn right. Now, when I don't speak anything, nothing happens over here. Turn left. Now, when I try to give wrong commands, it will show over there like a pop up. Turn backwards. This was not a command. Now, if you go on other features like remote control, you can customize your robot. Thank you.